हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ मेट्रिक्स फिस डिस्कस सम एग्जांपल्स ऑन कॉम्पैक्ट सिस्ट सो द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज शो दैट शो दैट सबसेट ऑफ आर ए सबसेट ऑफ आर मीन्स सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स इज कॉम्पैक्ट इज compact if and only if if and only if it is closed and bounded it is closed and bounded you have seen the definition of compact set in real analysis a set or a subset of real numbers is said to be compact if and only if it is closed and bounded but not in matrix spaces if you find the subset which is closed and bounded then in matrix space that set cannot be cannot be a compact because we have to check every open cover has finite sub cover or not but in r that is in real analysis we can directly say that that set is compact if and only if that set is closed and bounded so the solution of this example we have to first of all we have to prove subset of r is compact then it is closed and bounded and in the converse part if we suppose that set is closed and bounded we have to prove that that set is compact so if the set is compact if a subset of r is compact then by the previous theorem that is in the previous some videos we have seen compact set is closed and bounded so first part is obvious by using that theorem and to prove the second part we have to take one element which is one set which is closed and bounded and we have to prove that set is compact so let a be a any subset of r a b a subset of r a b a subset of r and first in the first part we will suppose that set is compact and suppose suppose that a is compact suppose a is compact since we know that any compact subset any compact subset of matrix space compact subset of matrix space is closed and bounded any compact subset of matrix space is closed and bounded implies a is compact so a is closed and bounded implies a is closed and bounded in r a is closed and bounded in r so hence the proof of first part now conversely conversely suppose this a is closed and bounded a is closed and bounded a is closed and bounded subset of r a is closed and bounded subset of r our claim is that a is compact claim is this a is compact so a is closed and bounded subset of r means a must be of the form closed interval ab so as a be a closed and bounded subset of r closed and bounded subset of r closed and bounded subset of r then then there exists some then there exists a comma b belongs to r that is there is a some real numbers a and b such that such that closed and bounded subset of r means subset must be of the form closed interval ab such that that a is a subset of closed interval ab but by hine borel theorem we know that closed interval ab is compact but by hine borel theorem closed interval ab is compact so we know that any closed subset of closed set is 
compact so this a is subset of closed interval ab and we know that we know that any in the previous video we have seen that any closed subset of compact set is compact compact set is compact here a is closed and bounded so a is closed and a is closed subset of compact set so closed sub subset of compact set is compact implies a is compact therefore given set a is compact hence a subset of r is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded hence subset of r a subset of r is compact if and only if compact if and only if it is closed and bounded it is closed and bounded hence the solution of given example now the next example is next example is let suppose a and b be compact subsets that is a and b both are compact subsets of a matrix space xd the question is is a union b compact is a union b compact let a and b be compact subsets a is compact b is also compact subset of matrix space xd then we have to check their union is compact or not so a is compact and b is also compact so in this example we have given that let a and b be compact subsets we compact subsets of matrix space xd so for these compact subsets we can find an open cover for a union b because a is compact b is also compact so for suppose there is one open cover for a also for b so their union is also open cover for a union b so suppose let the family of ui such that i belongs to index set i b and open cover for a union b this family be an open cover for a union b because for a there is some family which is open cover for a also there is some open cover for b so their union is also union of open set is arbitrary union of open set is open so their union is also open cover for a union b so let that family be ui i belongs to index set is open cover for a union b therefore a union b lies inside this union of ui i belongs to index set that is this union contains a union b so this implies that a is contained in union of ui i belongs to index set and b is also belongs to the b is also contained in union of ui i belongs to index set so a union a is also in this union of union and b is also in this union so but a and b are compact a and b are compact sets so there exists some k1 and k2 that is there exists some finite sub core for a also some finite sub core for b so a is contained in union of ui i running from some 1 to k1 and b 
is also contained in union of u i i running from 1 to some k 2. There exists some finite sub core for A as well as some finite finite sub core for B because A and B both are open. So, if you take the union of these two finite sub cores then that will be the finite sub core for A union B. Therefore, A union B is contained in union of u i i running from 1 to k 1 union union of u i i running from 1 to k 2. So, this is finite sets this is also finite sets so union of finite set is also finite number these are finite number of open in open sets these are also finite number of open inter open sets so these finite this finite so union of finite set is also finite so a union b has finite sub core implies a union b has finite sub core union b has finite sub core implies a union b is compact because this was the open cover for a union b and this is finite sub core for that open cover so every open cover of a union b admits finite sub core implies a union b is compact hence the solution of given example now the one most important result is remark is next is remark r is r is not compact r is not compact because a subset of r is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded but r is not bounded so r is not compact so first remark and the important one is r is not compact r is complete but not compact so this will be <coughs> useful for multiple choice questions R is complete matrix space, but not a compact matrix space. Now, we will see some examples on compact some examples on compact sets. So, the question is before that we will take one theorem that is Hine Borel theorem for R raise to n. The next theorem is little point in this topic is Hine Borel theorem for R raise to n. We have seen the Hine Borel theorem for R that is every close and a subset of R is compact if and only if it is close and bounded. Now, the Hine Borel theorem for R raise to n a subset. A subset of R raise to n is compact. A subset of R raise to n is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. If it is closed and bounded, a subset of R raise to n is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. So, if we have given some example of R raise to n that is R square R cube, then to find that set that set is closed and bounded or compact. To find that set is compact or not, we will just find that set is closed or closed and bounded or not. So, the next example is which of the following which of the following sets which of the following sets are compact. So, the first is first set x square minus y square is equals to 1 in r square x square minus y square is equals to 1 in r square x square minus y square in x square minus y square is equals to 1. So, the this is the equation of hyperbola that is y square is equals to 1 x square minus 1. So, the graph of this equation is this and this is not close as well as not bounded it is not bounded therefore it is not compact it is not bounded hence it is not compact 
by using hine borel theorem for rs 2n now the next is second example is the equation of parabola y is equals to x square the graph of this parabola will be this y is equals to x square again this graph is unbounded so this parabola is not compact it is also not bounded hence not compact now the third one is unit circle unit circle x square plus y square is equals to 1 the unit circle means the diagram of this unit circle is this centered at origin with radius 1 the circle is closed as well as bounded by this boundary so it is compact closed and bounded implies compact by using hine borel theorem now the last example is ellipse equation of the ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 again the diagram of the ellipse is like this a shape again clearly it is closed as well as bounded hence by hine borel theorem it is compact it is closed and bounded so it is compact hence the solution of some examples now the next topic we will see in the next video